Hey guys, what is going on? I hope you guys are all safe and sound. 2020 and we are living in the middle of total madness. But anyway, let's take the most out of it. Let's take the most out of home guarantee. Let's cook. Anyone who doesn't know me, my name is Mikko. The show is Project Boxy. And today we are going to make some ribs. And yeah, it's only one rack of ribs because I'm going to be eating this alone. But if you're gonna make it for a bigger group, of course you will need more ribs and racks than this. Now the ingredients of this recipe are that simple. We only need a variety of spices, obviously the ribs, as well as barbecue sauce. Of course you can make your own barbecue sauce, but I'm gonna use store-bought today. And I can highly recommend using disposable gloves when dealing with pork and hot spices. So we start off by doing a little trimming on the pork. And you see how easy it removes today. Beautiful. Not too much to trim anyway. I think I'm happy with that. Now take a small bowl and mix all the spices in. Then give it a good mix. And now rub it on your pork. And make sure everything is well coated. And check this out. Now it's time to prepare it for the bath. So I will first cut it in half. And then it's time to do some vacuuming business. All right. Then we drop the meats in a separate vacuum bags. We seal it. Then the next one. And there we go, our meat is vacuumed. Now let's prepare the sous vide bath. Now let's first fill the sous vide container with water. And what I like to use is this kind of IKEA dish rack. It keeps the meat nice intact. Then let's set up our Anava cooker in. Temperature 155 Fahrenheit, 68 degrees Celsius. Then the cooker on. And we wait. Okay, we have reached target temperature. Now it's time to put them in the bath. And this is how you can trap the meat in so it doesn't move. Very handy tool. All right, see you in 24 hours. Okay guys, 24 hours later and we are ready to take the pork out of the bath. And there we go, two beautiful small bags full of goodness. Then we'll take the pork out of the back and pat them dry. Like so. And now it's time to finish the cook and this is the time to get creative. You can definitely finish them on a grill if you have one. And if you don't, just broil them in your home oven. But what I'm about to do today is use my smoke gun with apple wood smoke. So first take a bowl, place your ribs in, cover the bowl with a cling film and now leave a little hole here so you can hook this hose in. Now place your apple wood in turn on the smoker 
ignite and you should see the smoke coming oh yeah it's definitely smoky business in here then take off the hose close the cover and let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes and we are ready to give it the final touch all right and 15 minutes later it's time to sear this bad boy oh yeah oh, the smoky flavor is there now let's put the pork on a wire rack and we give it some love All right, there we go. Then it's time to give them a little glaze with your favorite barbecue sauce. I don't know about you guys, but I think this looks pretty awesome ribs, especially homemade. Super tender. Let's have a bite. <laughs> Come on now. Wow. Okay guys, these are hands down the best ribs I've ever made, period. And you can actually taste the smoke gun flavor. The smoking gun works pretty well if you don't have proper smoker at home. Anyway guys, this is it for today. Please hit that subscribe button if you like the video. That would be highly appreciated. Take care of yourself and keep cooking. See you next time.